I'm going to argue that higher dimensions are really a natural occurrence. I'm going to do so through a few concrete examples. The first one being robotics and robot kinematics. So consider a standard industrial robot arm that has a number of rotational joints or angular joints. That is the, uh, the shape of the robot arm. Its configuration is specified by some number of angles. Let's call them phi1, phi2, all the way up through phi n. And together, these specify the configuration of the robot arm. Okay, but here's the thing. There are uh, many different ways you can position that robot arm. And together, these n angles form an n-dimensional configuration space associated to the robot arm. So this configuration space is not necessarily three-dimensional. The dimension of it is n, the number of variables you need in order to specify any particular configuration of the arm. Okay, that could be a little hard to uh, see from just a diagram. So let's take a look at a typical uh, robot arm in motion where you can, you can see the thing moving around. It has a number of degrees of mechanical freedom. And those number of degrees of freedom correspond to the dimension of this configuration space. So take a look at this robot arm and count how many angles you see, how many angles you need to specify its configuration. When I do that count, I seem to get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, so that's a five-dimensional configuration space. And as the robot arm is moving around, it's really tracing out a curve or a path in that five-dimensional space. And you can see it, and in fact, um, if you had a little toy version, you could feel it. And if you added a few more uh, rotational joints so that now you have more mechanical degrees of freedom, in this case, uh, two more, uh, then you can feel the increase in the dimension of the configuration space. So this robot arm on the right has a seven-dimensional configuration space, and you can just, you can almost feel how floppy it is moving around in that higher dimensional space.